Well, welcome to week four of our Organic Disciples devotionals. Uh, this one's focused on wholehearted worship. And we're asking an interesting question, and that is this. What is God looking for? What is God looking for? And we actually find an answer to that in John chapter four. Jesus is having this conversation with the woman at the well. And this is where we read in verses 23 and 24. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And then Jesus says this, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. God is all-powerful and all-knowing. If you study the whole Bible, you don't find God looking for or searching for very many things. But one thing God is seeking is people who will worship him. The heart of God Almighty is longing for people who will come into his presence and worship him with their whole heart. May I encourage you, as you gather with God's people to praise his name, to whisper a simple prayer, Spirit of the living God, lead me into a place of wholehearted worship. Will you ask our Heavenly Father to help you worship with a fresh joy and excitement as the Holy Spirit leads you into the very presence of Jesus. And as you worship the Lord who loves you and died to free you from your sins, ask him to shine his light on you and through you. In John chapter four, we meet a broken and marginalized woman who was avoiding the people from her hometown of Sychar. She encountered Jesus and they had a deep, rich, life-changing discussion about worship. Before the day was done, she had become a worshiper of the Savior and had received Jesus as the Messiah. It is so important to note what she did next. She hurried back to her hometown to tell everyone who would listen to her that she had been transformed by Jesus, the long-awaited Savior. What happened next is stunning and beautiful. Many people place their faith in Jesus because of her bold testimony. Then even more followed Jesus as they came to meet him face to face. When we truly encounter Jesus as the one worthy of all worship, we are moved to tell others about the one who loves them and deserves their praise and adoration. Each time you worship Jesus in a crowd or when you are alone, Think of those who you know that have never bowed their knees or heart to the Savior. Then pray about how you can share the love of Jesus and the truth of Jesus with these people. Let's pray. Jesus, we have met you. We have seen your face. We've been transformed by your glory. We worship you. And as we do, would you grow within us a longing for those people we love and care about who have not yet seen your face, a longing that they would know you, that they would follow you, that they would seek your face, they would see you and bow down before you. And Lord, we pray that one day they will worship you too. And as they do, they'll go out and share your love with the world just like we're going to. We pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen.